Happy New Year, Melissa. Happy New Year, Mari. Oh, so good. We are 35 miles from downtown Honolulu at Ko'olina at Monkey Pod Kitchen because this is Peter Merriman's first Oahu outpost. Now, you know Merriman's from the Waimea yes. flagship that he opened in 1988, one of the first of the Hawaii regional cuisine chefs. And since he opened in Waimea on the Big Island, he's expanded to this entire empire of restaurants on Kauai and Maui, but not yet on Oahu. So Monkey Pot Kitchen is this concept for a chain. There's one on Maui, this is the second one, and they're hoping to expand to the West Coast with really locally sourced Hawaii flair, not quite so um, fine dining as Merriman's, if you know Merriman's, but a little bit more accessible. So why are you here? Well, number one, I want to see if it's worth the drive to come out here to eat because that was a long ass drive on a Friday. <laughs> and um, number two, quite a few of my Instagram friends have been posting from here and they really like it and it's gotten me kind of excited. So I want to see how good it is. How about you? Oh, um, <clears throat> it's the Simon. There's Simon. You drove all the way up here just to have Simon. Simon. They, I interviewed Peter Merriman for this magazine article all right. about like expanding this chain and he named the Simon as the dish that he orders every time he comes here. We're going to start with the bourgeois pizza Ooh. with lobster and hummus and mushrooms and, and truffle, truffle oil. oil. Yeah. All right. Have you ever had lobster on pizza? Um, not that I can remember. Did I say this pizza is $25? This pizza. It tastes very different, but it's not, you know what, it's not as strong as Good salty cheese, yes. mushrooms, truffle oil. Are you getting lobster? Not a lot. Actually, I'm not getting a lot of truffle oil either. That's what I expected. Pumpkin patch ravioli. It's on the appetizer menu, which if you're here for happy hour, is um, half price if you're not doing the raw seafood selection. Spinach on it, feta cheese. Let's cut it open. It's feta? I think it's goat. Mm. Mm. That goat cheese is nice and sharp. It's and cutting it's, through the pumpkin. And yet it's very light. It's not like something really heavy. Like sometimes when you have this kind of stuff, it's really sweet. It's good. It's good. Half price. Alright. Oh, you know what? This is avocado on top. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, crispy taco shell. Let's go. Alright. Oh, okay. You know, the poke flavor doesn't hit you right when you first eat it. And then as you chew it, it comes out. So, it's good. That's fantastic. There's a lot of fried taco shell proportionate to the poke. This time in. Can you hear the angels singing? Uh, there's kalua pork, there's roasted peanuts, there's broccoli, and there's green beans in this Simon. And you see the thick curly noodles? Okay, what do you do when you when you get a bowl of Simon? Uh, you drink the broth. Oh. Okay. I'll just stay out of your way. Here, let me, I'm gonna eat the noodles, because I'm really interested in these noodles. Wow, I've never seen so much stuff in the Simon. How is it? I'm just going to eat the noodles for now. I'm not sure if it's because of the kalua pork in my spoon, but it is a salty, meaty broth. The noodles are nice. I bet these are good as fried salmon. It's kind of chewy. Oh, they have fried salmon. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, but you know. Oh. So, now that we've had six dishes, and kind of a lot of cocktails, and, um, we're waiting on the beer. I've only had beer. one. We were still, beer is coming. What's your assessment? Um, this is good, and especially if you come at happy hour. If you come at happy hour, um, it's much more worth it. Uh, especially for you Chinese people who like to get a good deal. 
Um, the food is the food is good. Not not everything is like out of the ballpark good, but um, it's good. It's special. I feel like it tastes special. Not like something you can get in town. Yeah. What about you? I like the salmon. Um, but um, yeah, for people on the west side, I think this is a destination. Coming 35 miles uh, from town. It's probably for a staycation for Tommy's like us. Um, are very happy. Very happy. That's good. We like to see you happy. I recommend the citrusy ocean breeze. It's a really mellow vibe. I mean, there are tiki torches around. It feels like a more mellow, open Waikiki. Mm -hmm. And you actually do get the taste of Hawaii and um, yeah, and some of the dishes. And man, this Simon. It's what Simon is trying to be. Okay. Well, yeah, that's I know my I'm, I'm only gonna get two bites of that Simon. That's it. But <laughs> I can I can see that already. Yeah. Anyway, from Monkey Pot Kitchen in Koalina. I'm gonna save some for Diane.